preserve it and enjoy it. I've come to Rutland County, located in the heart of the state, to say goodbye to all the trappings of my coddled suburban life. Elections Row, a Rutland city street that resembles an old movie lot, letter carrier Kelly Socia rounds out his seven-mile morning route. On his own time, Kelly gets out of the city and onto the country roads, where cow pastures and covered bridges are as familiar to him as postage stamps. This postman has a double life. Vermont Backroads Tours is Kelly's homegrown business, a motor tour that makes stops at area attractions like the New England Maple Museum. But the primary attraction is a chance to travel on roads barely mentioned on a map. Look at a dirt road and say, my goodness, I go down there, I don't know if I'm going to bust a spring or, you know, end up breaking down. There's no cell phone reception. But Kelly says his van is ready to rumble. This valley runs between the Taconic Mountain Range to the west and the Green Mountains running up the center of Vermont. It's a view that pleases in more ways than one. Kelly's tour winds by Stephen Bromley's dairy farm in the town of Clarendon. Almost on the dot at 5 p.m., Stephen's cows are ready to be milked. The milk prices right now are pretty good. They're up over $20 a hundred weight, which is excellent. In a couple of years, Emma, this two-month-old calf, will produce as much milk as Stephen can sell. It's round-the-clock work that is worlds different from what most of us know. Turn on the television on Sunday afternoon, what do you got? You got races, you got Fenway Park, and look at the people up there. 60,000 of them just sitting there. They got nothing to do. What am I doing? You're looking at it.